As we prepare for the 4th of July, maybe buying some fireworks or some hamburger buns, it's important to remember that there are many members in our community who may struggle with what the 4th brings. The things that make the 4th of July so fun, those are the things that also can be very disorienting. It's well known that all the staples of the celebratory holiday are often things that can trigger people with PTSD, and the same holds true for children with disabilities. One, two, three, go! Tia Davenport is a special education teacher and the legal guardian of her 10-year-old brother, who was recently diagnosed with autism. Fourth of July comes, and he wants to be a part of the everything, but the loud noises is way overwhelming. And just for like a lot of kids in my class, loud noises, they'll cover their ears. Or... She recommends headphones, distraction, and most importantly, safety. They see these pretty lights. They see these things going off, these loud noises. It's so exciting. They want to run up to it and they want to grab it. Independence Day can also bring stress to those with dementia. Large groups like parades or family gatherings can be really confusing for people with dementia. And, that, and just agitating the, the noise and the, and the fireworks. Erica Purington with Adult Resource Alliance says avoid the large groups. Use name tags if needed. Play a white noise machine or music to mask those loud bangs. We also acknowledge that this can be a challenging time for caregivers because you do have to shift things entirely to you know, help somebody be okay. Both Purington and Davenport say it's okay to still celebrate in these cases, but be compassionate to those around you or someone you may be looking after. Still celebrate, you know, because there will be, there are parts of it that are going to be familiar and festive and fun to someone with dementia. Just be compassionate with those families that are trying to give the, their children the experiences that everybody else gets. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.